Hello, this is Shaylin 3 d Prank, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the first layer calibration on a Prusa Mini. But first, why would you want to calibrate the first layer? Well, it can affect quality, or maybe you just change the nozzle. So, like, if your prints are failing a lot, because they're not, like, sticking and stuff, I would try and calibrate the first layer first. So, um, I'm going to just show you the basics of it, and gives you some tips that I found of how to do it. But first, how do you get to the first layer calibration? So you'll go into settings and then you'll go all the way down to, it'll be calibration and testing is what it's called. Um, and then you'll go down to option five, first layer calibration. And then it's going to ask you if you want to load filament or change the filament you got. I'm going to just keep the filament I use um, for this test. And then um, you hit next and then it's going to ask do you want to use the current or the default if you just change the nozzle something big like that go the default if you're just minorly tweaking it go the current one and you can tweak it from there so i'm going to just go default the printer is going to run its um auto mesh leveling bed and it's also going to run like the default heating up and all that so I'm going to just speed past that real quickly so when you're doing a first layer calibration there's two ways to move the nozzle you can move it positively which is up off the bed so it brings it higher up and then there's negatively which brings it down personally I find that you almost always have to bring it down um, it's very rare that you actually have to bring your nozzle slightly up from the base level unless you're starting from a uh, lower default level but um i find most of the times you start about negative one is where your nozzle starts getting close enough for it to actually stick so it's going to start printing soon um and what i like to do is just slowly um turn the knob while keeping my head like close to the bed for i can like see how close it is um so I kind of like to let the first part print out though, just see how it is, and then start spinning it until um, you bring it down. And the big thing is right now it's not even like printing on the bed. It's printing in the air and then it's laying down onto the bed. So you got to keep bringing it down until um, it starts to actually stick. So um, something I like to do every now and then is to see if it is sticking yet, just by like rubbing where um, the filament is just as you saw I did there and that kind of tells you um, if you're too close or too far away and then um, once it starts sticking a little you know you're getting close and you should kind of start to slow down on how quickly you bring the nozzle down um, and in this first attempt I am aiming for about one negative 1 1.3 is where I um, landed on which um, turned out to be a tad bit short but I prefer to bring in the nozzle a little bit short for the first time, um, just to get close, and then you can tune it from there. Because um, it's not a bad thing to have your nozzle too far away while printing, but if you bring it too close, you can damage stuff. So I like to keep it farther away. And then it does this little like thing I like to call a kite. Um, it's a little rectangle that it prints and um, back and forth, and it gives you a good idea of how it's going to do once it tries to print like a flat box or a flat part of your print on the bed and um, I find it gives you the most information of how the height is doing um, if it's too far away um, your nozzle will leave like gaps in it like this one did so I might just pull off the whole thing and then you can kind of look at it and see how it did and this one, you can kind of see that there's gaps and there's clear, like, you can see through it. And I'm going to show you in a moment one that is too far, oh, I mean, too close to the bed. And this is a test where it was too close to the bed. Um, you can be a little too close and it not damage stuff, and that's kind of this case. And the way you can tell it's too close is the little flap area that prints you'll start to see like little bridges and bumps form that's uh, just so much filaments coming out and it's too close that's getting bunched up 
and this can cause problems with like elephant's foot and other problems when printing the first layer and if you get too close you can actually damage your bed like i did here once it'll leave permanent grooves or even completely damage your hot end if it's way too close so just be careful with getting it too close and then this one was pretty good um it could have been a little higher up but it's kind of hard because you get limited step range so you can't like perfectly control the height but this one um there is a little bit of ridges but very minimal and that's what you want you want to be fully connected without having any like ridges and you just basically want to be perfectly flat um so what you guys think of this tutorial um if you guys got any comments or any um suggestions for helping other people go and let me know in the comments and um if you liked the video go and leave a like and subscribe thank you for watching